Steve, good evening. Tough day for you, um, but uh, tell us what it is you... You went to the school today with, with the MEC. What did they have to say about the day that Letitia went missing? Thank you very much. The purpose for the visit was to find answers. And, um, well, the explanation, according to the MEC, was not tangible. Mm -hmm. And uh, that could not assist them with information to go and report to what the family. What was the explanation? Look, um, the child was marked absent mm -hmm. on the day in, in question that is the Wednesday on the 22nd and um, on the second day that is your Thursday the parent came to the school after going to the police station to report her missing but uh, she was not assisted there yeah. went to the school to report and uh, we, we felt that probably the school could have assisted uh, with the police station. You can't say, have you reported this matter to the police station? Yes. That's what they said. They've asked the parent and then they send the parent to the police station. And um, the following day is Friday. I mean, they don't panic. Uh, it's, it's normal. I mean, they, they, they continue with their lives. So the MC was questioning whether, why didn't they do something about it? Just to check whether is the child, did they find the child? Because yeah. now it's three days. Yeah. You know, and or chat to friends, or what about the scholar uh, transport? I mean, who are they hired by? Are they hired by the school? Are they provided by the department? And surely, that is another thing to look at: is why would you leave pupils? You know who you are collecting every day, or who you should be collecting. Accordingly, they said the schedule was changed, and they informed learners at the assembly to say the schedule has changed. But you don't do that. I mean, when you change a schedule, you interact with parents. Yes. You can even call a meeting, you know, a parents' meeting to say this is the changes that we have foreseen so that parents can monitor the process, make sure that learners are not going to miss a pass. Yes. But worse, I mean, they, we are told that it's about less than 10 learners that were in, the, in that transport when it, you know, left. So you but know you're missing a lot of kids. What, what's happening to you as a driver? Yes. What question are you asking yourself? So hence... The service provider, we really had to interact with them to check on what is it that they know. But they, you know, the custodian of this is a, it's a, it's a district official who will then be interacting with the, you know, transport, yes. you know, scholar services to say what is happening, what happened here. So we find ourselves in a situation where we, do, we did not know anything because, you know, answers were not forthcoming. Hence, the MEC decided that um, he thought that by this afternoon he will be ready to say mm. here is a decision. But our administrative processes are not finalized, so by tomorrow we should be in a position to announce on the way forward, well, including happening? the scholar transport. Oh, including the, okay, so right now you can't say whether it will be the district official who, who will also be in trouble over this, whether it will be the driver. Will you be able to let us know that tomorrow? Look, tomorrow we should be in a position to announce. But uh, indeed, I mean, administrative processes have been finalized, but we can assure you that uh, people are going to account. What other information were you able to glean? I mean, and I, and I know that there'll be a police, in, I'm hoping there'll be a police investigation, a proper one, into just how this child was killed. I mean, to be raped, stabbed, burned to death. I mean, that is just unimaginable for any family. I can't even imagine what they're going through at the moment. It's, it's just so violent and gruesome, Steve. But I mean, were you able to glean any more information about who, from the school, who might have wanted to do this? Had she had any enemies? Had, you know, just, was it a random crime? And, and I know it's the early days, but, you know, would that form part of your investigation as well? Look, um, we are informed that this case has been elevated to the province now uh, because the police station did not do anything. So the MEC yes, has been in, 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 in touch with the provincial commissioner. There's an assurance that this case has been elevated to the province, and while we were there, you know, the, the police officials came at the family to interact with the family just to get more information. But we understand that there's two witnesses, you know, that has been interviewed from oh, the family okay. as well. So police are continuing with their work. We are hopeful that probably you'll find something because um, it's very odd that uh, such an incident will happen and no one will see anything in the community. Mm -hmm. Hence, the MEC has committed that tomorrow half past five in the evening, he will be meeting with the community just to check on what is it that they can assist with mm. so that those that are available information 
they can assist the investigation. But we are hopeful that probably something will come. Well, Steve, this highlights yet another case of, I suppose, just a lack of communication, like we saw happen with Enoch and Pianzi, a roll call, the list left on a bus, teachers who are doing, you know, not doing what they're supposed to be doing at the time, not being as vigilant. So update us on, on that story as well. Where are we? Uh, where are you in your investigation as a department? Well, well, our investigation continues on that because, remember, we said we have an independent... Yes, and we saw the suspensions happen last week, so yes, where are we are so this morning? the suspension, you know, is as per our announcement. Uh, the principal is on, is, on, is on suspension, but the investigation continues. We said that if they happen to find anything, they will be reporting to us and the necessary action will be taken. So we are relying on the, on the probe. We gave them, you know, time frames. But uh, we are monitoring it very closely so that we can take action where we're supposed to. We know that uh, tomorrow is the memorial service of mm. uh, Enoch, and the MEC will at be attending just to pay uh, his tribute as well. Okay. All right. Well, thanks very much. That's all the time we have, uh, Steve, and we'll hopefully get that update tomorrow from the MEC in the case of uh, Letitia Janssen. And, yeah, who should have been doing what and wasn't doing it that, uh, that led to, I don't know, the community and the family having to find her body days after she went missing.